from a business standpoint, the traditional media, especially the, the broadcast television business, is a business that's been characterized by extremely high fixed costs. Um, and despite the effort of vendors uh, such as ourselves and others every year to come forward with um, products based around technological advances, uh, all too often the savings that we offer our broadcast customers with these new products have really been incremental savings. Uh, there's been no step change in uh, the way broadcasters have um, had to operate their businesses uh, until now. Um, now, in the past it didn't really matter because in the days of mass media uh, with high ratings and enormous revenue streams, in some way the high fixed cost business model acted as a barrier to entry to competitors. And it meant that large media companies uh, got larger every year because they essentially were the only people who could afford the high cost infrastructure that took to support that business. That's no longer the case and it now matters absolutely hugely and it's imperative that TV broadcasters uh, change their business models as far as they can from high fixed costs to low variable costs. Um, and we at Chiron see it as our mission and our number one priority to help our broadcast customers navigate this transition because if they're successful at doing it then we all have a successful future um, and we believe uh, that we have um, the tools at hand to help them do that. Um, <coughs> the web really does change everything. Um, it allows uh, us to come forward with a new uh, product and services uh, based around two technologies, uh, cloud computing and software as a service, uh, which essentially allows various parts of the broadcast content production chain to be outsourced to uh, either partners or um, uh, done and completed on the web. And, uh, we're very excited about this we believe that we are unique in harnessing the power of software as a service. And as Kevin will tell you in a few minutes, uh, we have uh, not only developed our own applications, our own services, to run in our hosted environment on the web, uh, which we call the Axis Hosted Platform, but that we've partnered with some extremely uh, strong uh, uh, third-party applications developers that allow us to uh, broaden our offering sideways and to, um, uh, to address different parts of uh, uh, the broadcast production chain. And that allows us to uh, develop and evolve new sustainable workflows for these television customers of ours who need to change uh, from a high fixed cost business model to a variable cost business model. Let me tell you quickly what I see, we see, as the necessary ingredients for new sustainable workflow to be uh, picked up by our customers. The first, we call this the four A's or attributes of sustainability. The first A is uh, that it needs to be appropriate. Um, it needs to do the job. And if you're going to come forward with a new solution into a um, high pressure, high spec <coughs> environment such as the worldwide television business, you probably will better have a solution that works. The second A is it needs to be additive. There's no point in coming forward with a workflow <coughs> solution that essentially duplicates what was done before. Now, clearly there are some advantages, but if you can actually improve upon the workflows and improve upon the output, uh, then you have a product that uh, has the chance of being sustainable. The third A is it has to be adaptable. We're in a very fast changing world at the moment and today's requirements by customer A may not be the same requirements in uh, two or three years time. So you have to have a solution that is both flexible enough to, uh, to change and which can be scaled according to uh, the requirements of that broadcaster because uh, scalability is very much a, a part of the variable cost business model. 
if you, in other words, if, if you need to access <coughs> a more services, you need to be very easily, as a customer, sign up for additional seats. Or if you find that your requirements are shrinking, you need to be able to turn, uh, turn the, turn the, uh, the seats down a bit. And so uh, adaptability is very important. And of course, the last day is affordability. Um, clearly, you've got to come forward with a workflow solution that saves people a ton of money. And the solution you're about to hear about from us, our access-based solutions, give people cost savings, our customers cost savings, between 5 and 15 times uh, what they were paying before. In other words, if their previous methodology for creating television graphics, for instance, that's just one of the niches that we now address, um, cost $100, uh, <coughs> with this approach, it should cost between $10 and $15. And if you're going to introduce a disruptive technology into a, a marketplace such as broadcast, you need, I think, to show cost savings minimum of five times. But as you can imagine, in this environment, uh, with their, all of our customers seeking for ways not only to cut costs, but also looking for ways to convert to the variable cost business model, um, we're getting a lot of traction with this. We're getting an enormous amount of interest from uh, networks and station groups. Because as they look across the, uh, the cost profile of their businesses, um, making small incremental savings <coughs> no longer cuts it. Um, it might have done in the past, it doesn't today. There has to be a substantial shift. Um, I think the word paradigm shift, which was used in the internet bubble, was way overused, and I'm not going to use it. But this is a game-changing event. If large media companies, TV broadcasters, can make the shift from fixed cost model, high fixed cost model, to a low cost variable model, then they have a chance of competing successfully <coughs> with new, new entrants uh, into the media business, which is a different business from the mass media of the second half of the 20th century. It's a much more niche media business, much more narrow cast kind of business, and the large revenue streams that attach themselves to the mass media business simply won't be there anymore. And so <coughs> our customers again have to adjust to lower revenue streams, uh, perhaps not in aggregate, maybe they can have enough different media approaches to in aggregate uh, sustain uh, <coughs> their, their old revenue numbers. But my guess is that unless they adjust their cost base to the new reality, then some of these new entrants will, uh, will take their business. Because, make no mistake, every new media entrant is basing their business model around a low cost, variable cost model. Um, so we call this approach distributed centralization. And I apologize for launching what seems to be an oxymoron on you at this time of the morning. And, uh, but I'm going to hand it over to Kevin, and I have no doubt that in the next 20 minutes he will uh, clarify what we're talking about, and you'll, you'll, you'll get a very thorough understanding of why we're so excited about the future of our business. And thank you so much for coming.